An express train leaves the station one hour after a freight train leaves the same station. The express train fa travels 15 miles per hour faster than the freight train. If the express train catches up to the freight train in three hours, what is the rate of each train? In other words, what is the speed of each train? So first off, I'm going to set some variables for the speed of each train. So let's say X is the speed of the freight train and Y is the speed of the express train. And so if you, the second, let's think about the situation. Well, the first train, it's kind of it's slower than the express train. It moves, it starts from the beginning and the, the express train leaves later. So it starts at the beginning, it's just starting at the start, but it, once it starts, it goes faster. And so eventually, because it's faster than the other train, it's going to catch up, catch up, and it's gonna finally meet the other train, catch all the way up so that they travel the same distance. And so that's the key in this equation. But uh, first off, I'm gonna set this first equation, which we can relate the speeds of the two trains because it says, that the express train is 15 miles per hour faster, the speed of the express train, y, is equal to the speed of the freight train plus 15. And so the second equation we can set is relating the distance that they have traveled because when they meet, when, they, when the express train finally catches up, they have traveled the same distance. And so if we take a look at this, um, we know that the rate or the speed of an object is the distance it travels divided by time. So if we solve for d distance, we get rate times time or speed times time. And so what we can do is say the rate times time of the first train or the freight train has to be equal to the rate times time of the express train. And so in this equation for the freight train, it's going to be x the speed times four hours, right? Because it um, it's already traveled the one hour and the three hours that it took to catch up. And for the express train, the speed is y times three hours, because it's only traveled the three hours. It took three hours to catch up. And so we get 4x equals 3y, but obviously we can't solve for x or y and get an actual value. But we, what we can do is substitute in y for x plus 15, because we're given that here. And so now we have an equation just in x, and so we can solve it. So what we're going to do is apply or multiply the 3 or distribute it to both terms. So we have 3 times x plus 3 times 15, which is 45. And now if we subtract 3x from both sides, 4x minus 3x is just x. So we can see that x is 45. So that's the speed of the freight train. To get the speed of the express train, we're going to use this equation. Y, speed of the express train, is x plus 15. In other words, 45 plus 15 or 60 miles per hour. And so the freight train traveled 45 miles per hour, the express train travels at 60 miles per hour.